Elton John wouldn't take offence at the pranksters, that they were harmless even if what they did wasn't justified. So uh, later, this, uh, later today we, we spoke again to the Kremlin spokesman and asked, well, you know, why exactly does the Russian leader want to meet this British singer? He's going to meet President Putin next week in New York, he's going to meet the Japanese leader, but this is a, a celebrity, this is a singer. Um, and he said, well, he's very popular, but he also did say that partly because of the hoax, that he, it sounded like he partly wanted to make it up to uh, Selton John. And, and we've spoken to his office since. They've confirmed what we've heard in the public domain from the Russians today is true that Sir Elton John was very happy. Yeah. They're now trying to look at their diaries to try and fix a date. Now, this is all sounding very amicable, but in reality, there's not a great deal of common ground between these two men on the issues that Elton wants to talk about. Well, that's interesting, because in the interview with me, he was pretty critical. He talked about the attitude from the government, from President Putin himself, as being idiotic and ridiculous and unacceptable, and talked about the difficulties of people in Russia, um, um, gay activists, what they have. The, he, he's part of a charity which helps people uh, in this part of the world who have a tough time being gay. There are certain laws in Russia, which are not exactly anti-homosexual, but they ban what they call homosexual propaganda on the grounds that it could be harmful to children. And this is what he wants to talk to the Russian leader about. So it's kind of interesting that President mm. Putin's reached out to him in this way. It involved the Russian ambassador to London who rang Elton John's office today to reassure him that this wasn't another prank. So obviously they put some effort into it. Myself, I'm diplomatic correspondent, so maybe I would say this, but I do see this as part of a larger picture. We've got the Russian president going off to the UN. He wants to make a big speech on Syria. He wants to have talks with people like the US president. So perhaps he also wants to try and change his image in other ways. This would certainly fit that.